Thieves target what Kansas City is famous for, its fountains. Well, now the city has to spend thousands of dollars to fix the landmarks in time for a yearly tradition. Marissa Cleaver explains. Take a stroll around the J.C. Nichols Fountain on the plaza and you will soon notice the damage. Wires lay cut, most of the lights are missing. Well, I was shocked and I was angered. Thieves looking for copper wiring stole the lights. They also took the lights at the Women's Leadership Fountain at 9th and Paseo and damaged the surrounding concrete. Built in 1899, it is the oldest fountain in the city. Kansas City has more than 200 fountains. Many hold historical significance. Barbara Berrickman Meyer is president of the City of Fountain Foundation. Here we have a reputation in Kansas City of being a city of fountains. No other city has as many fountains in the United States anyway. Repairs will cost $85,000. Forrest Decker, superintendent of parks, says the money comes from their maintenance budget. It's money that definitely could be spent elsewhere, uh, but you know we have to prioritize and the, the fountains are one of our high, one of our high priorities in the city. April 12th is Fountain Day in Kansas City. That's when all of the fountains in the city will be turned on. The women's leadership fountain will remain dark and dry that day because repairs won't be done in time. The idea of Fountain Day is that all over the city the fountains come on at the same time or relatively the same time, and it, you know, it just it's a, a beginning. The spring is a new beginning. And uh, to have that not working, I'm very sorry. The Nichols Fountain will be turned on without the lights. Marissa Cleaver, NBC Action News. The thieves looking for copper in city parks have cost Kansas City $225,000 over the past year.